friends, it's time for another Sunday dinner. I'm going to make my famous stuffed peppers. That's going to require some 8515, a little bit of diced tomatoes. You can use real tail if you like it a little spicier. Uh, you got an, uh, some onion, some mozzarella cheese, and some instant white rice. This is an easy recipe. We're going to do, uh, probably just going to do some baked squash. We're not going to do nothing fancy with that. And uh, this is my bone from the uh, from my smoked uh, pork wing or roast the other day, the picnic camp that I did. And uh, we're gonna throw that in some great northern beans, which uh, I have started here. I'm gonna uh, here we go. I'll uh, we'll show you about that. All right, it's early in the morning. We got the beans rinsed and sorted, and you know how I feel about uh, the pre-soak. Whatever's in that water soaks into the beans, right? Give us a little bit of smoked salt, a little bit of chili powder, and we'll do our pre soak on our beans. Follow your directions on your beans. Alright, first thing we need to do get them beans started back up again after our soak. We want to do that, we we'll follow our instructions. And embellishments. So let's see here. We got two cups of water in there. There's four cups. Generally run about a half a cup shot shy. Then we're gonna take our uh, stuff out of our smoked ham that we did the other day, or not ham, but it was a picnic ham, but it was some smoked pork. Alright. We're gonna let that cook. Alright, now we're going to break everything down and get ready. I'm going to take half a, half a loaf of sausage. You can use mild Italian sausage. That's, that's actually what I would normally use, but this is what I had, so that's what I'm using. We'll get that browned up. Come back to you. All right. So we've got our uh, sausage and ground beef browned. Put that in our holding container. Obviously, we want that drained. take our onions with just a little bit of fat that's left over. Right Get our onions going. Meanwhile, we'll take our peppers. Let's put that pepper right down the middle. Vein it, get that seed cluster out of it. We're gonna break our peppers down now. Take about half our onions. 
put them in there. The other half of the onion is going to go in there. Smoke salt. Pepper. Secret weapon when it comes to squash. All right, we've got our sausage and our onions and our hamburger. And what I've done is made a double uh, order of it. I'm gonna freeze this, I've done learned. But when I make something that I know that I like, I make twice as much. All right, we're gonna take uh, about a half a can of diced tomatoes or like a, a seven or eight ounce, eight ounce can of diced tomatoes. And you can go ahead and, well, yeah, use the whole can. Your instant rice. You want to use probably about three quarters of a cup of instant rice. If you're that uncomfortable about it, cook it first. But I don't cook it first, so don't argue. All right, mozzarella cheese. So we'll put about to what four ounces, three four ounces in there. You can use Parmesan. You can use whatever you want. I like the mozzarella. Okay. Good dosing of our uh, smoked salt blend. Let's go 400 degrees for 45 minutes. That's for our squash and our peppers. All right, we're almost done with them. I like my peppers to have a little bit of a bite left to them, but uh, these, I'm going to put about there. So what we want to do this will help to cook our rice a little bit. Just to pile some mozzarella on top. And this will melt over it and seal it. Alright, we throw it back in there for another, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Alright, we got our cheese browned on top of that. 
We've got our squash cooked. Our beans is done. It's time to eat. I'm hungry. All right, there we go. We got our yellow squash. We got our beans, and we got our stuffed bell peppers. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Travis in his. What do you think, boy? I I think that's a really good idea. You did a good job. You like that? All right. Man, oh man, Sunday dinner. Y'all have a good one. Little doggy.